Hello everybody, uh, my name is Kiribro, and welcome back to a Valkyria Chronicles. We are uh, gonna head back, uh, like back to the writing on the wall uh, in this episode. Get a little bit caught up there, like, uh, cause, cause it's, it's, like, it's been a little while, uh, like, since we went and checked in there. Also, uh, like, I'm feeling a little bit burned out today. Yeah, so it's a good chance uh, to, to, to get in, uh, like for for just a long, uh, like long and chill, like uh, strategy session. Yeah, uh, and this is uh, just the game hey, to do that for. The writing on the wall? Uh, I can't, uh, like I can't remember which ones we've already read. Yes. Like, uh, this one will be the beach one. So after a heated struggle, the third regiment took a sanguine shore of Marbury, the Emperor's final holding in nor northern Gallia. God, come on. I know I can speak. Get it together. Surrounded by sheer cliffs, Marbury is a natural citadel that has proved impossible to fell in previous bids staged by the Gallian army. The militia's strategy hinged upon a newly developed form of smokescreen grenade to mask their approach and baffle Imperial gunmen. The inventor of those life-saving grenades... Corp Isara Gunther was a tank pilot for Squad 7 and promised to be one of Galia's great minds in engineering until Imperial Fire at the end of this mission claimed her life. Sons of bitches. Her loss is a blow to the nation and to her squad who saw her buried in the war cemetery near the capital. War Orphan Count soars. As EW2 continues to expand in intensity and scale, you're open war too, I guess. The number of war orphans has climbed to new record highs. According to a recent study by Ewarf, I love that name. The, sh the number of children who have lost parents is rivaled only by the number who have lost access to educational facilities despite an expressed desire to learn. Galley is no exception to this continent-wide trend, though its parliament voiced plans for securing basic education and job training in a recent session. Ewarf has approached leaders from each of Europa's nations calling for the establishment of not just orphanages, but of a full infrastructure to support these children as they grow into self-supporting adults. Border Town Brule Reclaimed A recent release from Gallia's Central Forces confirmed that the border town of Brule was successfully taken from Imperial control. The armies of Gallia and the Empire now stand face to face along the massive N N N Nagyar, Nagyar Plains, braced for a direct and all-out clash. Brule represents a key Imperial supply route, making this militia win one with repercussions that extend far beyond this small border town. In a remarkable coincidence, the officer who led the Brule operation is a Brule native himself. He returned to claim his town from the Empire after being ousted by their original invasion over six months ago. Fuck those guys. We took our home back. Rangri's National University Department of Archaeology reported a theft from its archives on the 15th. This seems new. The objects in question are two artifacts of unknown age unearthed last year from a university dig site in Barius and are said to contain exceptionally pure Ragonite. Through, though their creation likely predates written history, their shapes bear strong resemblance to the lance and shield spoken of in the myth of the Valkyrie. Whether these were truly used by the warriors of legend or whether they bore ceremonial significance remains unclear. An investigation into who was behind the missing items is currently underway, but no leads have surfaced at present time. So that's the news. Come to make a donation to the Get Ellet's Name on a Book Fund? And yes, I will, because I have a ton of money. And like, like, look, I, this only costs 50 grand. I've got 374,000. I've bought like all of the upgrades except for the useless tank ones that I don't even want. I need a place to, to dump all this. <laughs> so let's see what we got. What have you unlocked for us this time? Yes, return to book mode. Get off my back. New episode has been added, new report. How many do we have to go back? How long has this been waiting? Oh, there we go. Squad 7's R&R. &R. Oh. Oh, this looks... This looks like a beach trip. <laughs> oh, uh, it, duh, there's a fucking beach ball on the left. I didn't even see that. I was just looking off of the character, like, extremely grayed out portraits. It doesn't even seem like there's a combat mission here, so... We'll see how long these take, and uh, maybe this will be a short one. Nah, I won't make it a short one. I gotta make sure I get some shooting in for you guys. 
Figured this has got to be big if they put out an emergency call, right? Oh, back into the field again? Militia ever heard of time off? I'm sorry to have called you here so early. I had news for Squad 7 of a pressing nature. Early retirement. <laughs> the higher-ups were watching, both during your recovery of the princess and elsewhere. In recognition of those accomplishments, you and I are being granted special leave. Granted, yeah, more Ooh. like, get off our backs, you're That's embarrassing the rest news. of us. Are you serious? Music to my ears. How wonderful. Mm -hmm. There's more. No, this isn't cool. You, you can't can bring Isar back from the dead on me. <laughs> that caught me when I was in the middle of a drink. House Randgreaves owns a stretch of shoreline? In other words, our orders are to cut loose and relax on a posh private beach. Oh my, no. No, we can't frolic and be happy with somebody who's dead. This is going to be... So heartbreaking. No that princess really knows how to up the morale, don't she? The whole place to ourselves. Talk about luxury. So this must have been available. Um, immediately after the train episode. Because straight after that one was the smoke grenades one with the beach. Hey, but what should I do? I don't own a swimsuit. <laughs> oh no. Then come on, let's go shopping. I'll pick out something nice for you. I don't know why, I just, I, I pictured that being like, th this is this is now an episode uh, storyline of a sitcom. Like, they're getting ousted to some private beach and Alicia doesn't have a swimsuit. Uh-oh, oh, crowds and the laugh tracks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Big sister Rosie takes years, her huh? shopping and hijinks ensue with them all. Yes. Very. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. You've earned this break. Enjoy it. Dismissed. Come on. Give me a combat. Let me run around on the beach shooting people. In swimsuits. Water guns. They could totally make this a thing. can really tell this is a private beach. It's beautiful. Oh my god, what are you so what blue. are you even There's wearing? Not many places this well preserved around anymore. <gasps> look at those white wings. Hi, Welkin. Why does it look like you're wearing a bikini top? This uh swimsuit was Rosie's idea. Really, I tried to tell her no. I just <laughs> super I wasn't sure blocky I could ankles. Pull it off. Um, what do you think? <laughs> I think Wilkin look? looks a little okay. more feminine than you do. Uh, hmm. Hmm. It's great, actually. Great? You mean it? Huh? Uh, yeah. Say, so, uh, why? Is, why? He's, he's got shadowing under his man boobs. Gull. It actually looks like he's got I boobs. Like a seagull? Yeah. Those wings are just gorgeous. Okay, so that was a compliment? You bet it was. The white wing gull is. Just I didn't about even my fucking realize bird. he was drawing another okay. comparison to stupid then nature. Thanks, God Wilkin. damn it! You Someone's idiot! Someone's taking this private beach thing a little too literally. It's already hot enough as it is. Yes, thank you, Rosie. sassy Rosie's Don't coming in, pretend. being just like. Pfft. You picked the raciest suit just for the lieutenant. The nervous some girls. Rosie, you're the one who told me to get it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> someone's going in the water. <laughs> Okay, okay. Don't lose your top. Hey. Hey, Wilkes. Fuck out of here with a fucking fruit oh, fly bastard. Hey, you having fun? I am. Don't give me the body shot of Isara. God damn it. Been a while since we've come to the beach. Hasn't <laughs> he's, yeah. he's actually. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna get over. It. I'm that not gonna get over me. how his Weren't man suit has man bodies? boobs painted onto it in the I texture. I remember you clinging to that floaty porcabian. We tried to drag you out, and you started bawling. Wilkin, I was barely a toddler then. <laughs> right, sorry. You must be a great swimmer by now. That's... none of your business. 
Ah, ah, stop it. Stop it with the adorableness. She, she's gone and she's never coming back. Oh, I, I love that straw hat. Goes, it's so nothing. huge. It belongs on, like, a farmer. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh. Uh. Noink? And down goes the boss. Man, those kids got too much energy. Uh, Lar Largo, Largo doesn't have an appropriate... An, a similarly... In a, uh, I, I don't know what word... A swimsuit? Come on, I could... If anyone's gonna wear one of those man-piece bodysuits, it's gonna be Largo, and it's gonna be, like, the blue and white stripes one. Full bodysuit. Why? Why? <laughs> why aren't you wearing that? You're sounding like an old man, Largo. <laughs> what? I ain't that old. Oh, no. Then why did you just sound like my grandfather, hmm? Yeah, yeah. You sure you don't want to go for a swim? I thought you liked that. Nobody wants to see me running around in a skimpy suit like those kids. Not at my age. Whatever you say, Granny. You know better than I am, are you? You haven't changed a bit since the day you enlisted. You still can't recognize a joke. Oh, these two are flirting in the background now. I remember they were you still got a mouth on you. Ella was they saying something about this. She changed. uncovered a little bit about that earlier in the story. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely compliment. Come to think of it, didn't we all go to the beach just after we enlisted? Yes, we had a big seashell hunt competition. I don't think you found a single one. <sighs> oh, how? How do you not? <laughs> I remember. Yeah, that was a wild time. <laughs> then Frederick winds up soaked to the bone. Largo. No Frederick stories. Oh, oh shit. Oh, that, that got heavy for a second, oh. didn't it? Hey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wait, wait, was Frederick someone with her? I seem to recall no, that. I should apologize. Even though it's been a while. I'm going for a little walk. I, ha I, I have been poking at this over the course of several months. God, I don't know if I've ever had a game that I've just continuously poked at for so long. I tend to get through them in a couple weeks. Even long ones like this, like I'll just dedicate oh. to it, but because I'm spacing this one out for recording, it's like, I don't want to record everything up front. I like kind of doing it as we go along. Because also it's exhausting to record. <laughs> All right, last one here. <clears throat> God. I'm, wor I'm, I'm working on the clearing up of uh, the throat thing. I, 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 uh, like, East, I finally got here. some drops Pass that should hopefully, uh, hopefully help clear up that thing in the back. And if not, then... Uh, Yay, back to the doctor again. <clears throat> Sorry. Isara, nail him. Go okay. Frank. <laughs> Hans, did I hit you with that? I'm so sorry. <laughs> she nailed the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny. I honestly, she's just, just it, it's, it, it sounds like Nelson. It's just the simplest, like, ah, oh, it's like, <laughs> whatever. All Where it yourself, is, huh? okay, okay, why? Why, don't you go join why are you also with us now? This just, this is supposed to be our vacation. You don't even belong here for this type of thing. Nah, that's not my thing. Mm-hmm. Always have to play it cool, huh? I guess I did literally pay for it, but whatever. Hmm. So what, did your journalist duties call you to the beach, or are you just bored? <laughs> Got me there. If I'm spending a day at the beach, I'd rather be with my boyfriend. Oh ho ho! You got yourself a boy, do ya? Color me jealous. Right? But there's times when I feel envious of you all, too. I interviewed a good chunk of Galia's <clears throat> army, but I didn't see any other units like yours. True comrades. The bond you guys have is really a cut above the rest. Hmm. <laughs> now get over there already. They're all waiting for you. It's not made any better by what I know comes well, after this time. I could take pity on them. 
And it's not like chatting with an old married lady is any fun. <laughs> You're a piece of work. Oh, back to the volleyball. Volleyball with All the right, pig. Alright, guys, make room for me. <clears throat> oh, a promising contender joins the fray. Rosie, think you could pair up with Isara? What? <laughs> no, no. Sure, fine. Isara, pull your weight or you're swimming. No, you don't be friendly. Okay, I'll don't, do my best. Don't. Rosie. It just makes it worse. All right, throw the ball, Isara. Okay. God, don't hit me with it. You're supposed to throw it that way. Rosie, did I hit you with that? I'm so <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> no, you shut up, hands. You stop it. You're not allowed to be cute right now. This is a terrible thing, you know it. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like so so that was just a nice uh, like a nice like frolic in the sun that just sort of plucked at the heartstrings because I know what's actually going to come later and it's terrible uh, but it only lasted 17 minutes and that is just plain and simple not enough for a Valkyria Chronicles episode although I may make this into its own thing and then just cut it out and like make it a 17 minute just like side in case people don't want to see uh, this part they just wanted like the strateginess of it yeah, I think I'll do that. So, I'll cut it right here. And uh, this will just be a bonus episode. So, so, thank you everybody so much for watching. Hit the like button down below if you like the bonus episode in the story. And uh, yeah, come back next time when we get back to shooting reds in the face. Bye-bye. <laughs>